actually never Bye. been. Oh. If we want good stewards of our lands for years to come, it starts when we're little. Before you can even love something, you have to connect with it. And in our education world right now, we're a little bit disconnected. We might learn about it in the classroom, but there's no hands-on, and it's hard to connect unless there's hands-on, and that's what Bird by Bird has done. So woodpecker tails are really unique, how stiff they are. You guys see how dirty and worn his tail is? Whoa. Do you know why it might be like that? Because he poops on biting. So when a woodpecker is climbing a tree, he uses his tail as a tripod to lean against the tree. You see that? Ouch. <laughs> so his tail is all worn from rubbing against tree bark. wanted to make people more aware of watching wildlife in your own backyard and we thought well we could take it one step further and really involve schools. Four house, four house the bird feeders are pretty much the heart of the program. We provide all the tools and equipment they need to have a bird watching station at their school. The students in turn their obligation is to be citizen scientists. What Bird by Bird did was enhanced our program immensely. Using the term citizen scientist, collecting real life data, and that has become so powerful for the kids. We're seeing all these birds in our garden where we're knowing about their beak and their feet and what they eat. And so at this kindergarten level, they're like, yeah, I've got this. I, I'm a scientist and I'm collecting data for the greater good. No matter what, what you're studying, you can relate it back to birds. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a black chickadee. Squirrels Dude, the there's a wood pepper. I told them, you know, I understand that you're not all going to be bird biologists when you leave here, but you're going to have to learn hard stuff because really I think high school is about learning how to learn because they're going to have to learn so much once they leave these halls and, and so if they have those skills then we've done our job. So do you guys remember how we're looking at the combination of old and new feathers? Kind of like we're looking at your combination of old and new teeth when we banned you. So check there is a power to nature to be able to um, kind of pull out this aliveness um, in children that they sometimes uh, don't have as much today. So there's, there's moments that I see kind of this light turn on when they're watching uh, maybe a bird for the first time and they leave this program feeling so connected to nature and loving nature and wanting, wanting to protect it. It's more than just birds. By involving classrooms in Bird by Bird, it will shape tomorrow's conservation leaders.
What are some of the coolest birds you've seen? Well, um, I've seen lately we've been seeing a, seeing a horned owl like on our um, on this light post, uh -huh. and it keeps coming in our neighborhood, which is really interesting uh -huh. because it's pretty cool to see a bird like that in your um, community neighborhood. We saw like wood ducks, like and wood ducks are honestly very pretty. They're so colorful, and especially the males. And they're kind of like peacocks. In a way, they're like the Idahoan version of peacocks. <laughs> I like that. Her wingspan's about seven, not quite seven feet, pretty close. Yep, right here, can I see all the